Organizational communication impacts teachers on a daily basis. While at first glance, the topic may seem complex, there are key components that educators need to be aware of in order to appropriately navigate communication exchanges in the workplace and out in the communities they serve. According to Hunt, systems of education tend to work on three interconnected levels. There's the macro level, where national policies are developed and negotiated, the MESO level, which oversees the implementation of official policies, and last of all, there's the micro level, which is made up of the schools and communities where policies are put into practice. The focus of this presentation will be on the micro level, which is the most essential level for teachers to understand. When thinking about organizational communication within the context of education, it is helpful to consider both the internal communication that happens within the school and the manner in which each school communicates with the surrounding community. Whether communicating with students, other staff members, supervisors, such as the on-site administrators, or the community at large, Educators must actively listen and demonstrate clear, consistent communication on a daily basis. Because there are so many different learning styles, educators must also be versatile with their communication in order to effectively transmit knowledge to a wide range of people. Additionally, it is important to learn how to interact and collaborate with other staff members on site. In any organization, people bring different skill sets and strengths to the table. And when resources are pooled, grouped together, the potential advantages are maximized. In an educational setting, students reap the benefits of pooled resources when they receive a quality education. That being said, it is important to note that communication between all parties should be professional. By speaking professionally, avoiding profanity, treating everyone with dignity and respect, and refraining from gossip or speaking negatively about others, staff members make it clear that the target objective is being there for the students. Moreover, Hull asserts that in a professional setting, those with whom one is communicating will more likely respond to comments in a positive manner when each person is careful to compose him or herself with poise and confidence. What is said is important, but how the message is said, including body language and tone of voice, must also be considered. Speaking of composure, the way a school composes itself when engaging with the surrounding community is paramount. Outgoing messages must be crafted with sensitivity and care to ensure that all community members are equally respected. In addition to the behavior of the organization as a whole, it is also necessary to examine the behavior of individuals within the organization. After all, the behavior of staff within the school is a reflection of the school each staff member represents. In the social media age, this includes the conduct of staff on the many social media platforms available. As a matter of fact, multiple incidents throughout the nation have been reported in which teachers lost their jobs as a result of poor conduct on social media. Posting confidential information, using hate speech, or advertising the use of illicit drugs on social media are all cause for dismissal. When using social media, it is important to respect the privacy of students and their families. Use and maintain strict privacy settings on personal accounts and ensure that online behavior falls in line with the school's ethical guidelines. Teachers can and should strive to have a personal life outside of work, but the reality is that educators are under close scrutiny. Professional conduct is crucial as an educator and includes conduct in both the online community and the physical community in which the school is located. Maintaining professionalism enables school employees to interact positively with the community. 
A positive relationship with the community, in turn, increases the likelihood of making a positive difference in the lives of the students teachers endeavor to serve. Although there are three levels of organizational communication within educational systems, the most essential level for teachers to understand is the micro level. The micro level focuses both on how staff members within the school communicate and how the school as a whole and, by extension, its staff members communicate with the surrounding community. Effective communication is a necessary skill for teachers to develop. When interacting with students or other staff members, communication should be professional and care should be taken to treat everyone with dignity and respect. Schools within the community must take care to craft their outgoing messages so that all community members are equally respected. Meanwhile, staff within the school must be conscientious of their behavior, keeping in mind that they are viewed as representatives of their school, whether on social media or out in the community. When teachers and schools make an effort to communicate effectively and professionally, Positive relationships with students, staff members, and the community are established, making it easier for teachers to support, encourage, and inspire their students.